All right, so here is uh, my everyday carry bag. Um, normally it's fastened up, but it uh, it's being transitioned into a, an everyday. I keep this in my Jeep bag every time I go anywhere. Um, yeah, it's a Battletech medic bag. Uh, stuff's awesome, lots of pouches, lots of goodies that came with it. Um, start off, I redid the top handle over here with some 550 cord. Um, yeah, always good to have 550 cord on hand. But yeah, uh, opening it up, up here I have some pens. I keep four pens up here. Um, the bag itself I got from Battlebox, a uh, nice monthly subscription. Um, this pen right here has a, um, it is a self-defense pen. It's got a spike here on the end. You use that to shatter windows. Um, keep it in here because you come up to somebody that's trapped inside their vehicle. Use this, smash out the window. Has the Battlebox logo on the side there. Let's see if it comes into view. But anyway, Battlebox is a uh, really, really cool monthly subscription box you should look into. I'll put a link to that in the bottom. Um, first pouch under here, I have, I have uh, 25 feet of duct tape. I have a magnesium ferrocium and striker rod right there um, zombie tender has a uh, flint and steel uh, I also put a ferrocium rod and striker in there um, it also has some uh, jute twine and um, some char cloth as well as I threw in a pack of matches um, I have a mini inferno all weather fire kit right here um, just little tiny cloth soaked in lighter fluid and wax. Uh, you can make them yourself using uh, like the uh, makeup remover wipes your wife might have or you might have your woman. There's anybody. Um, right here I have a little striker. Um, just hold right here. Do it in the bag. That's smart. Um, but yeah, just roll the striker right there. Works pretty well. Um, pretty nice. A lot of fire options on my bag. Um, turning it to the side over here, I have a uh, 550 bracelet, which also has the um, safety whistle as well as more uh, magnesium rod and striker. Um, I have a little towel that folds up in here. Um, little mini. Uh, multi-tool clips in these right here is uh, gloves uh, with a little easy dispense pouch right there works pretty pretty good uh, pretty good works really good um, comes with a uh, waistband as well as a shoulder strap um, tucked into the back here I have my Kershaw uh, little baby knife but it is amazing. The uh, newer model of this knife, um, I can't remember the name of it, but the newer model is a lot nicer. Um, instead of having the bottle opener right here, it has it on the end. This right here digs into my hand and it's constantly cutting me when I had it in my pocket. So that's why I decided to put it on my bag. Um, another item that was in the battle box. Um, Coming over to this side over here, um, I have a nice little knife right here. Um, has an oxygen tank wrench on it, has a bottle opener, a uh, blade on this side. Um, I've got some trauma shears I'll keep in there. Um, and this pouch right here is for a tourniquet. Um, I currently do not have a tourniquet. I'm waiting for one to come in the mail. Um, so in the meantime, I just put... Um, a elastic rubber band right here. Um, doctors and uh, phlebotomists use that. Um, use that as like a temporary tourniquet for the time being. Um, as well as a uh, bandana. Um, bandana is pretty cool. It's got all the constellations on it. Um, but yeah. And then I have a pace counter right here. Um, but yeah. Um, this side over here, 
Um, I have packs of moleskin. Um, always good idea to keep moleskin anywhere around you. Uh, I have hand warmers, um, four packs right there, um, as well as just some playing cards. Um, these are survival survival tip playing cards. I um, got at Walmart for like three bucks. Um, so I figure I can have some fun as well as learn some new stuff on there. Um, flip back to the other side because I skipped over this pocket. This pocket, I have a flashlight. I'll be upgrading this one. This is just one of those cheap 99 cent flashlights at Walmart. Um, I have bug spray just because I live in the Northwest and we are full of bugs. Um, this is little uh, towelettes. Um, there's about nine of them in there. Uh, yeah, nine. Uh, put a little bit of water on it. Open it up. Or it opens up right up. Um, next will be... and Actually, let's go to the bottom of the bag. Bottom of the bag, I have a self-defense, um, potentially non-lethal um, spike right here. Just keep tucked in there. Again, an item that was in my battle box. Um, this, like I said, was my everyday carry bag, so there's quite a bit of stuff that doesn't need to be on here, but it is. Let's see, look at look at her cabinet. While I try and open this, it's harder to do one-handed, but alas, um, top pouch up here. Um, I have a knife sharpener, um, just like knives. Um, I have a bunch of, um, blood types in here. Um, I need to get my blood type out and put it on the side here. Um, then I have, um, triage lights. They light up in five different, four different colors, um, right here on the pack tells you what they are for. Red is yellow one, yellow is level two, blue is level three, or sorry, green level three, and blue level four. Um, if you come across a big group of people, um, these are nice to put on them so that uh, the medical professionals when they get there can uh, bypass everybody that is either deceased or doesn't really need too much medical attention um, and go to the people that are in imminent threat um back little velcro spot right here um got more essentially more of the same style things instead of doing the lights they are uh, wrist straps um so got that right there um as well as medical tape and uh combat casualty care cards or tccc um find a way to uh, fasten those two people and uh, just pretty much write down everything that the uh, first responder would need to know once they arrive if, uh, if I get there before them. Um, I have a first aid kit that I bought at Walmart and as you can see packed out a little bit more than what they had. Um, inside here I have uh, bunches of zip ties, all different shapes, sizes. Um, never know when and if you might need that. I have more uh, cord. Cord is a big thing. Got to have lots of it. I'm um, right here on this side here. Uh, Halo seals. Uh, if you have a gushing wound, there's two of them in here, so that'll take care of that. Um, this was, again, more items from the battle box. This was the active shooter bag. Um, so this is ideal for um, just sealing up a gushing wound um, bullet, bullet shot um, until somebody else can get there. Um, I have a breaching tool um, right here. It's from Ontario Knives. Um, it's freaking awesome. Again, another glass breaker on the side, but really good to have just for random reasons. If needed to be, you can use that for self-defense, um, use it to break into a window, uh, pry open doors. Uh, right here, 
I have a um, six inch. Uh, uh, I can remember the name. Uh, trauma dressing. Wow, there we go. Um, packaged up. Just in case I need any of these. Good to have. Um, yeah, keep that tucked in there. Um, that's pretty much it for for the bag itself. Um, inside my first aid kit, I'll open up that. Again, uh, this is just stuff that I've had in uh, multiple different everyday carry bags. This is going to be the one that I'm going to keep inside my Jeep at all times. I'm really bad with this camera. Uh, forgive me for that. But in here, I have a little bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Um, told my daughter that it's water, so that way she'll let me spray down some of her little cuts with it. Um, I keep a, a burn kit in here. Um, another option item that was in one of the battle, bo battle boxes um, comes with a and ointment, um, gel to put on, side the, on top of the burns, a couple bandages to put on top of the burns. Um, I threw in um, a couple different wraps, uh, extra gloves, um, little kit right here, little tearaway pouch. Um, have uh, all my band aids in there, a um, couple medicine things, of medicine, um, gauze pads, a couple different sizes, ice pouch, uh, and that one over here. Um, Q-tips, um, moleskin, sorry, more gloves, um, alcohol wipes, uh, Q-tips like I was saying before, uh, emergency blankets, um, a first aid guide, a um, couple different spots on here, uh, pressure points, where to stop bleeding, information I probably should fill out, um, the emergency blanket I was talking about, um, poison ivy, uh, ointment so it's, it's a white but it helps out with that um pliers probably won't be using these ones just because they're not sterile at the current moment um some popsicle six um hold down tongues if you're doing um purchase going into seizures or anything like that or use them for splints um but more wipes um insect re uh sting relief um, towelettes, different basic stuff. Um, but yeah, so now that I've destroyed my first aid pack and my bag, uh, I'm going to end the video. Um, again, first bag in it, like this that I've ever made. So, definite room for improvements. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas of a better bag or better equipment to throw in there, throw some comments down below. I'll put a link to the BattleBox website um, so you guys can look and see what they have. Uh, subscriptions start out from $25 all the way up to $150. Uh, absolutely amazing stuff. A lot of it is veteran-owned companies. Um, everything, say about 99% of the time, everything is made in the USA. A uh, big reason why I like them and stick with them. Um, but yeah, don't mind the liquor cabinet. I'll do another uh, video on that stuff. Because I've got uh, beer collections and alcohol for days. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Throw some comments out there. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I'll put some more videos out there. Go over some more stuff. But yeah, peace out.